Hi everyone, today I'm going to be colouring in this little selection of fruit um, which is from Worlds of Wonder. I thought it would be fun to have a go at. I'm going to be using my Black Widow um, pencils um, just because I'm playing with them and trying them out because they're new and uh, I thought we would just get going. Now luckily we have a banana colour so I thought we would just start with the banana using the banana colour. I'm just going to do a layer of the lovely vibrant yellow across the whole banana. It's an, I'm going to try and get it fairly even. I find yellow quite difficult to um, get a nice even um, covering because I can't always quite see what I'm doing. But well, I'll do my best. Now, this says a banana colour, but for me bananas are a little bit browner than this normally. But it doesn't matter because we're going to add some colour to it. I'm going to grab a brown. I'm looking at... Hmm, I think this looks like the best brown. This is the um, tarantula. Good colour. And I'm going to add some little bits of brown here and there to the banana because they're normally not perfectly... Well, they sometimes are perfectly... Um, yellow but they can vary sometimes they've got green but i've chosen that this one is going to be a little bit brown just in the odd place just to give it a bit of a more i mean often they're a bit spotty but i'm not going to draw spots i'm just going to give it a few lines of brown here and there there that's it simple we're going to leave it there now we've got a blackberry so I'm having a look at what I've got. I'm going to grab this purple, which is the amethyst, as a base for the blackberry. And then we will, um, we could have done it as a raspberry, of course, but I'm choosing a blackberry. And then we will add um, other darker colours, because this is um, not as dark as a blackberry is. So we'll colour it in the purple first. I'm going to get a fair layer down, but I don't know how many layers of Black Widows this paper will take because I haven't really played with it them massively. I have layered them up a bit in some pictures. And now I'm going to grab... What should we do? Should we go straight in with the black or no? No, we'll go in with a Zephyr Blue and uh, try to add... A few, I'm going to sharpen it, it's very small this, but that's okay, it's all part of the challenge. And uh, go in with some, um, darken it in areas where I think it will be a bit darker. So underneath each of the little circular areas, all, all the way around the edge, because to make it look more rounded, if you make it darker around the edge, it gives the impression that there's shadow on the edge, which makes it look like the lighter part's catching the light and therefore nearer the light. And so it makes it seem like the little each little piece is rounded. And I'm going to go back over with the purple. This is the um, amethyst, because now it looks very blue. and just push down and burnish that in. There we go. It isn't the perfect blackberry colour. Could try and add a bit of black. Um, oh, the black. I've just noticed these have got numbers. I didn't realise that before. I'm struggling to get the black out of the um, tin. There we go. The black is called Black Widow. I've just noticed these are numbers here. I didn't realise they had numbers before. I just going by the name. I think it's easier to go by the name anyway. <laughs> so we're going to add a few more. Where we added the blue. Oh, it's a bit snappy, isn't it? The end has crumbled a little bit. It's probably more to do with the fact that I sharpened it too sharp and I'm putting too much pressure, but I'm still getting a nice point. <laughs> There we are, and you just emphasise between the um, between the little round bits. Now it looks a bit blue in the camera to me. Um, 
here it doesn't look quite so blue but anyway now we've got these tiny little berries and I would say one might be red currant and one might be a blackberry so I'm going to go in now the blueberry I mean sorry now we've got two lots here I'm going to do these two the same and that one differently so I'm going to do I'm going to use a layer of blue first this is the sorry this is the um zephyr blue that we were using before I'm just going to put a base layer of blue down but in my experience blueberries or black actually we could do that as a blueberry and then we could do the ones at the bottom as black currants couldn't we so I'm going to work more with this blue so what you can see I'm doing is layering it up at the bottom to try and create the idea that there's some shade and shadow underneath them where they're nestling together it's a little bit of um deposits on the page but I'm not worried about that so that's my blueberries and you can now begin to hopefully to see that it's more purpley than that red currants are quite a purpley red so what I'm going to do is grab this plum pudding colour and put a layer of that down first which absolutely isn't a red currant colour and then I'm going to go over the top with the I can't get it out yes with the ladybug colour and I think that might work and give us the correct red yeah I'm trying to make that a little bit darker at the bottom by put on too much colour so I'm going to grab hmm, just a bit of the black so this is the uh, black widow let's put the tiniest bit of black at the bottom and where they meet at the bottom of that one just to add some shade to it but not too much I don't want it to overdo it okay that's that one I'm just going to move my book across just the tiniest bit just makes it easier for me sorry cherries we don't have a cherry red so I'm going to go in with the cyanide pink first and this is way too pink for cherry I absolutely realise that and then we're going to go over with a red and hopefully we can sort of bring it round to looking the way we want so I'm going to grab the watermelon which we've got watermelon coming up but uh, and just start to sort of blend that into the pink just you see I'm using a little circular movement that is still a bit too pink isn't it we'll introduce some red in a minute some other red I mean there we go and I'm going to use the the ladybug I love ladybug lovely name isn't it and we're going to make it darker underneath as we have with the oh gosh that's a loud noise I'm sorry if you can hear it I don't know how much gets picked up now of course cherries can be um, a more purpley black colour so it would be easier to try and do a red it might have made sense had I not put the red ones all next to each other but never mind there we go I'm leaving it a bit lighter at the top now we've got I'm going to do these black currants so I'm going to use my black widow black to do to start with and black currants are really quite black I know that sounds silly but there's, there isn't really any other colour there might be a little bit of purple so I'm going to, I've done a sort of even layer of black and then I'm going to go in at the bottom to make it a bit darker and keep it lighter towards the top so again it looks like there's a bit of shadow at the bottom which there would be I'm sort of imagining each one is sitting on a table really not floating in the air as pictured and what I'm going to do is grab my zephyr blue and just go over the top to darken it up but not quite so 
much and I'm leaving a tiny bit at the top which is still a really light layer of black. Now, um, here I'm thinking that's some piece of orange. I don't really. Well, let's have a go with this pumpkin colour. Pumpkin. Now, it would be quite vibrant an orange on the outside, I think. Oh, that's a lovely colour. It's not very orangey. I mean, it is orange, obviously, but it doesn't look like an orange. And in here a bit lighter and then I'm going to grab a yellow to sort of tone it down a little bit. I'm going to use this um, lemonade colour and hopefully if I go over the top it will just dull it down to make it look a little more, um, I say realistic, it's never going to look realistic is it? Oh gosh, sorry, that was focusing on my hand, wasn't it? That wasn't much use for you. Right, strawberries. They're easy. We're going to grab the ladybug and go in with those. So uh, a layer first, just light. And the same for this one. And then we do some darker parts under here. Now, before I finish this, I am going to use a, a, uh, a white gel pen to do some highlighting. So if some of them look a little bit unfinished, that's because we've just got a little finishing touch to do. So hopefully if I remember anyway. So you can see, hopefully, that I'm building up more layers of colour towards the bottom of the strawberry and less at the top, just to make it look um, like there's more shadow at the bottom but also strawberries aren't normally exactly the same colour through the whole fruit. Right we have the apple next. I know I haven't done the leaves. I'm still thinking about those. The apple I'm going to want a sort of just a mid green. I'm not going to um, do it partly red because we've got so many other reds and this is going to be red as well. So I'm just going to do it green. And I think this, this is the, sorry, cicada. So I'm going to do it this green and I'm just going to try and get an even green colour over the whole apple. Now on this one we've got a little mark where to indicate light falling on the apple. I'm not going to worry too much if I go over that. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go over it and uh, I use a white pen to... Uh, to do that. So I'm trying to get an even colour with this green and then we want it to be a bit darker at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's going to show up too much so I think I'm going to grab a slightly darker green. I'm going to go for the toxic green and just add a really little amount because it's quite a strong colour. a little bit just to indicate shadow and bring it up fade it up a bit so you haven't got a line there we go I think you can just about make that out okay now I'm going to use this toxic green to do these leaves on these while I've got it in my hand I think it's quite a good color see how different it looks when it's mixed with that one and it's really fun actually mixing up the colours and seeing what happens because with only 24 in the tin if you're just using this tin then you might find you want to mix them up to get a few, bit more of a variety the cicada I'm going to use for this leaf excuse me I don't know what happened to my voice then I think it's because I've got a drink sitting here which I haven't drunk yet so I need to do that in a minute if it'll be cold but there we go. Um, but I'm going to darken this up using the um, using the toxic green, like I did on the apple. But I'm going to press much harder because I want it to look different, particularly on this leaf. And I think cherry leaves tend to be quite dark as well. So just pressing a bit harder. 
Now this slice here, I was going to do it as a line, but we've got a fair bit of green going on, so I'm going to do it yellow and it will sort of balance out with the banana. I'm not going to do it the banana colour, I'm going to do it the lemonade. I think that will sort of look better for a lemon. It sounds right, doesn't it? Lemonade for a lemon. And just colour in this bit. I have got um, a Helen Elliston book which teaches you how to colour lemon slices and it turns out beautifully but uh, I don't think we've really got a lot of room here to do lots of detailing. This is um, watermelon, I'm going to do the watermelon. So uh, I've chosen just to keep it quite simple. Um, she's got lots of instructions to follow to do it and it looks really amazing um, but I just figured in this small space that we've got here and uh, I just and I just want to keep it quite simple. I think this is quite a good watermelon colour. It's a long time since I had watermelon, but uh, I think it is quite a good colour. I'm purposely going around the seeds because I want to do them black. I don't know whether if I put this underneath how well the black will show up. Some watermelon seeds are white as well but I think I'm going to do them all as black. So I'm starting to do a heavier layer of colour here. I'm not quite sure how far up I'm going to take it. I'm just going to work my way up to the um, tip of the watermelon. Just being careful to try and go around those circles. If your pencil's sharp it makes it easier but you do need to be wary that if it's sharp it might not be so easy to get the light layer of colour. I'm just evening it out a little bit towards the tip or pointed end. There we go. I just want to make sure that looks quite heavy down there. There. Now the skin of the watermelon is green. Um, it usually has a bit of a swirly pattern, but I can't remember what it looks like when it's cut through. I'm just going to grab this toxic green and I'm just going to colour this in toxic green. I'm sure it has sort of stripy bits and things in it, like a darker green colour, almost black. But I think I'll just do a fairly dark amount of that and then grab this um, fan green and I'm just going to do a bit dark on the edges and gently fade that in so you can see I'm putting more layers here and then just gently pushing it in towards the middle And I need to do the black before I forget. So I'm going to grab the Black Widow. I've got a big pile of pencils here. I'm struggling to find it. Here we go. I don't put them back in the tin because I find them a little tricky to get out of the tin. So once they're out, I leave them out. I also need to leave them out so I can list for you which ones I've used. need quite a sharp tip to do this. You could use a black gel pen if you wanted. It would... Uh, give you a nice intensity of black and uh, would might be easier if it was a fine liner um, is probably what I mean not a gel pen give you a nice uh, accurate dot okay and now I want to do these as plums but I think we're gonna have to mix up the colors a bit I'm gonna start with a plum pudding but for me it's not a dark enough plum colour. I'm going to put down a thickish layer so I can see the colour. But for me that's a bit pale. I like, um, I'm thinking Victoria plums be a bit darker. So we're going to add some um, darker colour on top. So we'll just go in with this to start with. I shall keep that nearby in case I want some more. Um, I'm going to grab the amethyst and just very gently layer it on. I don't want lots, I want to add it until I get the colour that I want. So I don't... And at the moment I'm going to put it over the whole thing. 
and then I'm going to um, add a bit of shadow effect like we have for all the other fruit. It's rather fun colouring fruit. This page is full of sweets and fruits and puddings. I'm going to add darker colour now at the bottom of here. And uh, I don't tend to eat sweets and puddings, so having fruit is nice because I do eat fruit. They're still quite sweet, aren't they? I haven't had plums for a long time. Very delicious. This still doesn't look very plum coloured to me. I feel like I need a darker colour. Um, maybe a darker blue. Where's that zephyr blue? We used that for the um, for the blackberries, so it might work. Yeah, to me that's a better plum colour. I'm just going to add it all over really gently. Darken it all up. Yeah, that's better. And because you've got the pink and the purple underneath the blue you can see all those elements coming through we're going to darken the bottom more and to finish with the pencils we need um, the stalk I've got the stalky one and I think that will be quite a dark colour I'm going to go for the huntsman which is the dark brown. I'm just going to sharpen it and uh, use it on the apple which I hope you can see and then also on these plums. And I'm just checking all the colours which I'm fine with. So I'm going to grab my white which is my jelly roll. I, this is quite a thin one. Um, I think this will be good for the little berries. So we're going to put a little element of shine on the edge of each of them. That one is obscured by the other berry next to it. And these and these. And then I'm going to get a slightly thicker one I've got an 08 to do some of the others. Now I've just realised that I've put the shine on that side and this apple shine is on that side. Oops. Right, I can do, I'm not going to worry about it. There's nothing I can do. So I'm going to scribble and do a little bit of shine on the orange. I'm thinking here, this is the pith so it's going to be white so I'm just going to go over this black pen hopefully my pen will start working properly in a minute I haven't used this one for a while it's probably got clogged up it's a problem with paint in a pen it will clog around the roller ball that's better I'm afraid you probably can't see what I'm doing because I'm hold it a bit close but there you can see it's just slightly faded now with the, this one we can do just a little dot, it doesn't want to work, we can do a, a shine now, maybe we'll do the shine on this side, on this one if it wants to write, come on pen, there, we'll put a bit of shine on that side, now the thing to note is that you want to follow the direction of the edge of the item as much as you can, I just want to write. We'll do that one on this side where Johanna's drawn us a little line. It's still not working properly, is it? Come on, pen. There. I think that's getting there. That's it. I was thinking of doing a little bit along the edge of there. Now, we'll do these on this side. But we'll do the apple on this side because we have to. I've done the strawberries on the other side too, so they sort of match. Now for the lemon, I'm going to do similar to what I did with the orange. So going over this black line to 
make it look more like pith. Yeah, again the pen doesn't want to work. I just realised I'm scribbling all over a page of the book that I was just about to write on. It is just a notebook. It's where I note down what videos I've been making and what pencils I've used and things like that. That's ready for when I do the um, info when I've um, put them up onto YouTube for you. So let's draw that in now. It doesn't want to work, does it? I'm going to use the, go back to the little one, which is the 0.5, so I can do a few dots on here. They're quite faint, and that's what I want. Can you work on here, though, please? A little white pen. There we go. So that's that. I'm going to leave it there, or else I'm going to spoil it if I keep fiddling and faddling. I've not put any shine on the banana because the skin is matte. Um, they don't really shine. So uh, I think we're finished with that. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're not feeling too hungry now. And uh, happy colouring.